Okay, so what we're going to do today in this video is we're going to uh, set up the Lightbacks Gallery plugin on this website. We're going to uh, have a look at the settings to make sure they're right. And then we're going to create a post using that new um, Lightbox Gallery plugin. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Plugins over here. Um, you may have started out, if you logged in, you probably started out on the dashboard, which would be here. Um, then we can come right back down to uh, Plugins. Click Add New. And then I'm going to type in Lightbox Gallery. I have it selected. Have so we're going to uh, search then for the Lightbox Gallery plugin. And there it is. So then you click Install now. It asks you if you want to verify that. Click OK. And then it goes about the process of installing the plugin. It's done and we click Activate. And now the plugin is both installed and ready to go. And if you go over here to the active plugins list, you'll see it's right down here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do right now is just check the settings for the plugin. To do that, we go to settings and we scroll down to Lightbox Gallery. And we just check a few things out here. And you have two choices under the type of gallery loading type. One is Lightbox, one is High Slide JS. High Slide JS is a JavaScript powered um, Lightbox type setup. It has a lot of options. It's very nice. If you have any kind of commercial website, you're going to have to pay them a license fee. So, what I usually do is I like the Lightbox um, setup, so I just leave it set on Lightbox. And there's not much to do in any of these. If you wanted to um, eliminate the Lightbox from certain categories, you can do it here. If you want to uh, use the Lightbox in certain pages, you can set them up here. So, the, the, I, I leave those two alone and then here where it says enforce loading the lightbox gallery scripts here it's checked already I've had it happen where it wasn't I just check that then of course you come down here and you click update options so now it's installed and the settings are, are correct and we're ready to go so we're going to go to create a new post click add new and here we're going to create a, uh, a post that we're going to call lightbox gallery test and I can't spell today can I plug in and I guess we'll, we might as well spell test right also what the heck now I'm in the HTML um, box here you could do it in the visual just as easy it works the same way um, if you're using the visual visual editor, but I'm going to go back to HTML here because I want you to see something. And I'm going to bring it down a couple lines because that's where I want my gallery. And then I'm going to click Insert. So now we're in the Media Library Upload window. Um, you have a couple choices here. You can do it from a URL or from a media library. Mine are on my computer, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the files and that's this one, this one, and this one. Click open and it starts uploading them. Okay, it's got that one. And it's got the second one. And it's got the third one. Now I'm going to show here. What we're going to do is if you click, I'm going to hide it again here. If you click show next to any of these images, it gives you the opportunity to change things like the title um, to put in alternate text, which you normally want to do, a description of the picture, um, and then make whatever changes you want, and then you would click down here where it says Save All Changes. So you can use the Show buttons to change any of the uh, settings for any of the images. Once you click Save All Changes, you're going to get a menu down here that says Gallery Settings, and it lets you set up a few things. I'm going to click Link Thumbnails to Image Files, because that's what I want it to do and we're going to leave that, leave that, leave that, and now we're going to click Insert Gallery. Okay, so it tells it to link to the file, and then we click Preview, because we want to have a look and see what we've got before we do anything. And there you go, you've got three items here. Click on the first one, it opens that. 
you have an arrow here. You can click go to the second image, go to the third image. Um, all the images that are in this particular post are cataloged to this particular URL, so you'll, you'll have this uh, three image gallery because you have three images. If you put up five images, you'd have a five image gallery here. Um, and that's about it. That's all there is to it. You've uh, done the job. You've installed it. You've uh, you've uh, configured the Lightbox Gallery plugin and you've tested it. So all we do now is go back and click Publish. And once this little thing stops going around, now it's loaded. So then we're going to reload this page, which is the actual website page. And there you go. There's your Lightbox Gallery again. And works the same way as it did in the preview. So that's it. You're all set. That's There's nothing more to it than that, and uh, I hope you find this very useful. So uh, for Orange Cat Productions, I'm Bob Stovall. Thanks for watching this video.